Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are ready to jump into today's wig style. Let's get right into all the details. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I am back you guys. And this week I'm gonna be rolling out videos consistently. So let's start off with this style from Super B Wigs. It will be linked below in the description box. So this style is a beautiful highlighted curly wig. Now you guys know that I've been into browns lately. So the brown wigs are like popping for me right now. So this is a 13 by six cap. As you see, it got combs, adjustable straps. I wanted to wear this wig straight out the box. So I did not bleach the knots. All I did was add a little bit of lace tint to the lace to content the knots a bit um, and that's about it so we're going to go ahead and install For this install, I am not doing the ball cap method. I just have on a wig cap that is a new color. I will link some in the description box if you need some. And today I am also going to just glue it down very easily. So let's take a look at the hairline of this wig. So it comes pre-plucked already. The hairline is super gorgeous, super natural. And as you can see, the lace melts with the skin pretty well. Now I do feel like this color can work for so many people, but if you are a girl that naturally has curly highlighted hair and you want to give your hair a break, break this wig is it so i found this little kit right here on amazon i will also put this below in the description but it comes with like some sh cutting shears scissors and things you would probably use for your wig if you wanted to glue it down and have all that good stuff so i'm going to take some scissors out of this kit and go ahead and cut the lace off So if you are joining me for today's video, thank you so much. I am so sorry I've been gone for a little bit. I was sick, you guys. I was sick for about a whole week. So I'm just getting better. I'm feeling better. Thank you for everyone who checked up on me. I appreciate you guys. You know, in life, we go through some things and we got to overcome it even when we don't feel like it. So yeah, you guys just keep me in your prayers and I appreciate you guys so very much. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and add some slits and then I'm going to use my spray to glue this down this wig um, you want to make sure your wig is positioned correctly so that you won't have it too far down on your forehead but you don't want it completely behind your hairline or on it so I'm using the melt me down spray I'm still loving this spray okay um, it's very good and it's very comfortable throughout the day to wear so if you are looking for a spray that's comfortable it gives you a good hold for two maybe three days just depending um, yeah it works well however it's not waterproof so don't jump into a pool okay <laughs> Once the glue is a little bit tacky, you can go ahead and press that lace down. And as you can see, I did not need to do anything to that hairline. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. And I'm going to take my sleigh band and I am going to tie it down. Now, the sleigh band is perfect for laying down the wig install um, because it's going to lay everything flat and help that glue just stick the way it needs to stick. Now, I have another one I'm going to share with you guys in a second. Um, this one is very comfortable. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to get to it in a second. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and dry this for a few minutes with cool air and then let the sleigh band sit on the hairline for at least 15 minutes before you remove it. Now let's take a look at the hairline um, after it's been sitting for about 15 minutes. As you guys can see, it flows so natural. I absolutely love the way it look right now <laughs> with absolutely no manipulation to the actual hairline itself as far as baby hair. So I'm just gonna try to leave it as fluffy and as natural as possible, but the glue held down really well. Um, but I'm gonna go back and fix a few things because I definitely wanna remove this without causing any white residue. Um, so what I'm doing is taking my scissors and just using the tip of the scissors to slowly cut away the, the extra lace. Now, 
Now, I did have a little bit of lift when I cut the lace. I think I pulled that up by mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit more of that spray around the hairline to lay and make sure there's no lace um, that's lifted. You want to make sure it looks as natural as possible. Now, this wig is a whole look, you guys. At the beginning, as you see, I styled it with a beautiful dress. So um, it's one of those wigs that you can wear every day. You can wear on the dates. It gives definitely b vibes definitely <laughs> um, but i love it i love the style so very much now i've added a new glitter edge band to the website this one is more for comfort and like lounging or sleeping it's not for the install it's only if you need to keep your hairline flat and throughout the day and maintain your glue install you can sleep in this it's very comfortable it's, it's a bit softer than the sleigh band the sleigh band for me is more for the wig install like when i'm installing my wig to make sure that i lay that lace and melt that lace this like i said is more for comfort so if you needed to keep your hairline flat before you go out but you want comfort this band is it so all the stuff will be linked below in the description box for you guys so make sure to check below the video And let me mention about the curls. The curls on this wig are so soft. Like they're not the spirally curls. So tangling, I believe, is going to be nothing with this wig. It's not going to tangle because the curls aren't intertwining on each other. It's just like beautiful crimps that's like really small all over the wig. And they're super soft. And I haven't even washed this wig yet. And it's already just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take a bit of hair mousse and just kind of lay down the top area for any flyaways. Now I'm going to keep the center part. However, you can part this wig wherever you like to part it, but straight out the box, like this wig is absolutely gorgeous. I can, I kid you guys not, like it's just gorgeous and you don't need to do much, but install it. So we're about done with this wig install. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. And the last step I'm going to take is unflattening the hairline. Like I said, I did not want baby hairs and I definitely don't want the flat look. So I want this wig to look like my natural hair. So I'm fluffing out the hairline a bit and just kind of making the hairs go in a flow that's very soft and just natural looking. Now, if you get any residue, make sure to just take a wet you know, cloth and just wipe it away. I'm going to go back inside that kit and grab the razor comb and use this to cut the edges so that they won't be so long. Um, if you cut your edges around the wig, it looks and flows just like natural hair, especially on the curly wigs. OK, so I think this is a must and make sure to use a razor because scissors will give that blunt cut that's going to not feather right. So a razor would do better. And to fix that parting, I'm going to add a bit of uh, foundation powder down the parting to cover up the wig cap. Now, if you do the ball cap method, yours won't show through. Um, or if you bleach your notch, you probably won't even see it. But since I'm wearing this wig straight out the box to demonstrate today's video, yeah, you can see mine. And I'm okay with that. I'll just fix it with a little bit of powder. But yeah, this is it. And I hope you guys really like this style because I think it's absolutely gorgeous like it flows it's comfortable it's lightweight the hair is just gorgeous and i will be sure to link this wig in the description box it puts you a 10 percent discount code down there so that if you want this wig you better jump on it girl <laughs> all right so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i will see you back tomorrow for another video and i hope you guys thumbs up the video subscribe if you're new to my channel and be sure to share this video okay thank you guys so much i'll talk to you soon